I'd like to welcome today the Hong Kong Blind Choir on behalf of the Associated Students and introduce to you, who will explain the songs, their Executive Director, Mr. Calvin Chow. Uh, uh, thank you for uh, inviting us here. Um, it is uh, a pleasure to us, Chinese for Christ, uh, to uh, bring the Hong Kong Blind Choir here. We like to make it very clear that uh, Hong Kong Blind Choir is an uh, organization by itself. It is not a part of Chinese for Christ, but while they're here, the Chinese for Christ uh, has the privilege and the pleasure to sponsor them. Now, uh, I want to introduce you uh, and our colleague, Reverend uh, uh, William uh, Kinnaman. He comes to UCLA quite often. He knows quite a few uh, Chinese uh, students here. Now, he will introduce you to you, uh, the choir members and also the members. Later on in the program, I uh, hope that I'll have a few minutes to tell you more about the Hong Kong Blind Choir. For their first number, the Hong Kong Blind Choir will sing Handles and the Glory of the Lord. is an instrumental duet, 
Chinese folk music, an arrangement of Psalm 23. The Chinese reed organ is played by Thomas Yip. This is probably the oldest type reed organ in existence, originated in China about 1,500 years ago. The Chinese bamboo clarinet is played by Albert Lai. Next is also an instrumental number, a trio, minuet in G. And the violin is played by Gabriel Lin, the cello by Peter Chow, and the piano by Albert Lai.
The vocal duet which you are about to hear was composed by the gentleman who played the piano for the last number, Albert Lye. It's a sacred song titled Precious Blood on the Cross and will be sung in Chinese by Mary Chang and David Long.
You will now hear some chamber music by the Chinese orchestra. The title of the piece is Silver Cloud by the Moon. Some interesting words about the various instruments. There are four pipas. I understand that it is difficult to synchronize even two of them, but these young ladies synchronize four. There's one Chinese two-string violin, two instruments called the woodfish, and two Chinese bells, one Chinese reed organ, and the Chinese bamboo clarinet. This is the Chinese orchestra playing Silver Cloud by the Moon.
Would you like to hear another by the Chinese orchestra? Mozart's Don Juan will now be sung in Italian by Mary Chang and David Long. Oh, 
me the right easy. Special arrangement by C.P. Lee of a Chinese folk song titled Red River will be sung by the male chorus. This was written by a Chinese general 1,000 years ago after he and his king had been taken prisoners by the Mongolians in war with China.
Stephen Adams, The Holy City, be sung by our soprano, Mary Chung. I think uh, uh, all of you uh, may like to know the background of the Hong Kong Blind Choir. So I'm going to take five minutes to tell you uh, how, what the choir is and how it came to be. Uh, I consider that the Hong Kong Blind Choir is my grandchild. Uh, 
in their spiritual sense. Uh, when I was uh, preaching in uh, Chongqing, the war capital of China, 22 years ago, one music student, Stephen Xiao, became a Christian. Later on, in another meeting of mine, now he dedicated himself to sacred music. <coughs> Ever since then, he has been working in churches, trying to train uh, musicians. Eight years ago, he felt burdened to train some of the blind young people uh, to be musicians. He went to different uh, orphanages and uh, refugee camps, and he picked out what he considered to be the talented young people. Now through eight years of hard work and financial difficulties, and you are able to hear, you are able to see, uh, the vision realized, materialized by this man, Mr. Stephen Xiao. Unfortunately, he is not here with us due to the automobile accident on December uh, the 17th, 1965, which happened right in the front door of my doorstep. He was crossing the street with a blind uh, a member of the choir, and a car came along and hit them. Mr. Xiao was seriously wounded, and then Mr. Jiang Chen died three days later. And the uh, news mediums, uh, such like uh, some of the TV channels and uh, TV stations, radio stations, and newspaper, have been very nice to carry the news. And many American people have shown the, their sympathy, for which we are very grateful. Now, some of you may know the lot of the blind people in the Orient, especially in Hong Kong. Uh, some, the parents, just uh, desert their blind babies, and there, if they do not starve to death, they would, they would become fortune tailors or bakers on street corners. Some of these musicians that you see and hear today really do not know their parents at all. The man that uh, was killed in the accident, uh, Mr. Jiang Chen, was deserted and left at the railway station the police picked him up and sent him to a Chinese hospital uh, in Hong Kong. It happened that there was a nurse with the name Chen, C-H-A-N, who uh, took a liking to this baby, and this baby took her name. And she couldn't take care of this baby, so later on, Zhang was sent to an orphanage, then and to another place. Mr. Sao chose him and trained him. Now this is a real thing going on in the Orient. Many blind people are all like this. But these people, despite, uh, in spite of their handicaps, now they have trained themselves under the supervision of Mr. Xiao and their music teacher, Ms. Lim, they have come up to where they are now. You know that they cannot read the music, they have to read in Braille. The English in Braille, the Chinese in Braille, the Italian in Braille, some of them are composed in Braille. It is not something so easy, but we feel happy that they have come up to this point where they can sing with inspiration all over uh, in the Orient and now in the United States. 
Mr. Sh uh, Mr. Xiao had and still has financial difficulties. Some uh, last year or the year before last, they moved uh, something like 12 places because they either had no money to pay the rent or due to some reason they had to move. And sometimes these blind young people didn't have rice enough to cook a dinner. Uh, there is a gentleman here, uh, Mr. Liu, who came with a choir to serve as a cook. He could go to a restaurant and make five or seven times as a big salary, but he chose uh, to be with a choir. He said to himself, whoever invites me, I would consider it as an opening from God for me to serve. Mr. Xiao approached him with a salary of $35. He poo pooed the idea. He went back. No, he said, I cannot do that. But he couldn't sleep all night. He felt this is the opportunity to serve. So he took the job for two years. Sometimes when the choir has uh, nothing to eat, he would go out and seek a temporary employment and uh, work in the restaurant so that the restaurant will give food uh, to the choir. So this work is maintained by a group of Christians who definitely dedicate themselves to the welfare of the, young, of the uh, blind young people and to the training of Christian musicians. So I personally feel it is a real pleasure and joy to me. Because I remember 22 years ago I was speaking in the National Conservatory of Music in Chongqing. My topic was the Spiritual Universal Orchestra. Now I told them, we Christians believe in God. We believe that God created everyone and give us, everyone, some gifts, talents. And we are stewards. We are supposed, we are supposed to use this for His glory, for the service of other people. Now each one is like a musician. His talents is his, uh, his uh, music. And uh, Christ is the director. And as after I gave this message, Mr. Xia became uh, a Christian. And ever since then, he has been serving. He has been doing this kind of work, helping other people. So I feel that I have to tell you the background of this uh, of this uh, organization, the Hong Kong Blend Choir. Now it is, I will say for them, it is a humble effort made by some dedicated people for the welfare of the blind people, for the training of musicians. The absent director, Mr. Stephen K. Shaw, still recuperating in the hospital, has arranged a song called Goodbye, Sweetheart. It will be sung by the entire choir. It's a Chinese folk song. And it is a story of a boy and girl who love each other, a small village in China. The time has come for the boy to leave. and. Uh, while they're saying goodbye, as they walk down the pathway, the uh, goodbyes are dramatized by the different animals and the trees that they approach and see and talk about. So then, goodbye, sweetheart. <coughs> Song, 
我的小妹。Thank you for your attendance here. Spectra Sound has made a record just this past month in Los Angeles. The Hong Kong Blind Choir, you may obtain these as you go out. They cost $4. They're stereophonic long playing records. Some of the songs that you heard this afternoon are on this record. Now for their last number, God Bless America. <laughs> 